So here I have this fog machine and I have determined that this is a bad motor. Another issue I'm having with this, there's an issue with this power switch because if you turn this on we should get continuity on those bottom two pins but I'm not, not getting voltage so that's the issue as well. This left pin is not connecting up here so we have the switch powered on and I put it here and there's no continuity okay I do have a 6 amp fuse so just put something that is close to this not over that you can go under so there we go so the pump's not working so I'm thinking that this triac could be the problem here this is uh, a BTA 16 I think it's a TLB or something like that so this could be uh, the reason why the pumps not working because it does um, one of the traces go to the middle it goes to the middle there so it could be a bad track I did find the schematic it's actually a BTA 16-600B and it's a uh, B type triac as a N P N P N type device. It does 16 amps. So you can find the BGA 16-600B on DigiKey. Here's the overview so far. I connected this pump right to the mains here, and none of the liquid was flowing through the tube. You can see the air bubble. So it's probably a bad pump, um, and you can just Google 120 volt um, fog pump, like oil fog pump. The other issue, I'm not receiving any voltage on the pins here, so I'm thinking that this track is bad, so I'll be replacing that, Let's see if that fixes everything. So we have a new motor here. So, we will install that, okay, okay, has two screws in the bottom that you need to remove. not quite the same yeah okay so it's not quite the same thing we had this little extension guy and we'll see see what we can do. I need to tape up. I'm gonna take off the old hose here. And then I'll just tape it up. Q-tip there to plug up the hole. And then we'll see if we can uh, match up this. I'm not sure. I think this can pop off.
Yeah. It's a little bit more tricky than I thought. This one has this black extension and this one doesn't. Ah, oh my. And there we go. We got it off, finally. Okay, so now we'll attach it onto this guy here. Take this connector and put it on that. Mm. It doesn't fit. It has a little a different adapter. Anyways. See if we can extend the copper piping into this. Anyways, so we'll cut this off, get this connected. So I got it installed, the motor. Now it's just trying to get it to match up with this piece here. So the head's a little bit too big there. So that's the problem now is this this segment right here we're missing because it doesn't connect it doesn't connect on here this thread right here doesn't connect to this thread here because this would normally go up into here but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if it actually starts pumping. And then later you can get that piece to go there. I also replaced the track on the main board as well. So we'll see. So it turned green. And I'm it is changing the voltage. 
so no voltage seems to be getting there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the fan with the pump and we'll see if we can get it pumping. Okay, so because I know the fan is always on and I'm not getting voltage at that. So I'm just going to quickly turn the pump. We'll see if, if liquid's coming out. So I heard it. And you could see it shooting out there. So that does mean that working so the only thing I can think that the hack you could do to actually get it going is is connecting your pump to your fan wires and then they would both be going at the same time but then that means they would just be going full throttle uh, with the fog and you and you wouldn't the the controller wouldn't do anything then, but it would mean that you wouldn't have to throw away the machine, right? That's the only thing I could think of right now, because I already got the track and all that. I already tested and I heard the um, the relays working okay. So yeah, I did test that out. So it's probably your IC chip, but. That's coded and you can't get replacements for those unless you replace the whole board here.